Okay, so today I'll be going through all the earbuds deals that I've found with prices ranging from 1500 to top end flagship earbuds. There are just so many earbuds to talk about, so let's get going right away. Okay, so if you're on a tight budget, there are two options to consider right under 1500 rupees, the Oppo Enco Buds 2 and the Anchor Soundcore R50i. Both of them ranked among our top picks for the best earbuds under 2000 rupees and both of them are available at a discounted price right now, which further sweetens the pot. If you want a fairly balanced sound quality with a good sound station and everything, then go with the Oppo Enco Buds 2. Whereas for the fan of thumpy bass, the Anchor Soundcore R50i makes more sense. I am really fond of how just comfortable they feel in my ears as well. And yeah, you simply can't go wrong with either of them depending on your musical taste. Now, if you have a budget of around 2000 rupees, the OnePlus Nord Buds 2R is currently selling at 1800 rupees only. And at that price, the Nord Buds 2R sound quality is not half bad. Yes, it can sound a little too bass heavy for some folks, but I like how OnePlus lets you create a custom equalizer here, uh, which is not something I can say for most budget earbuds out here. Bose Nirvana Ion is another budget earbuds that you can find on a very good deal right now. And although there is no option to create custom EQ for this guy, the Nirvana Ion does have a couple of sound presets that you can check out. So if you prefer a bit of oomph on the track, there is the signature sound mode, while the balanced mode takes away some of the bass for a less energetic listening experience. Moving on, the Zabra Elite 3 is one of my favorite earbuds under 5,000 rupees and it's currently available for just 2,800 rupees. And for the price, this is easily the best sounding earbuds you can get. I just like its balanced sound signature that does well across all like entire frequency ranges. The Elite 3 does not have fancy features like active noise cancellation though, so if you want that too, you can check out the Realme Buds Air 5, which is on sale for exactly 3000 rupees. On top of ANC, the Buds Air 5's audio is also pretty decent, while Realme has jammed in a bunch of features like wear detection, low latency mode, and fast pair support as well. But if you can spare some 1500 more, the pro version of the Realme Buds Air 5 is another good pair of wireless earbuds you can consider. It's pretty similar to the regular Buds Air 5 actually, but it tries to justify its more expensive price tag with things like dual driver setup, 360 degree spatial audio, LDAC playback and a few other stuff. If you want to learn more, I've also made a dedicated review comparing it with Oppo's Encore's Air 3 Pro, which you can check out from somewhere right here. That reminds me, the Enco Air 3 Pro is also an excellent pair of earbuds with great sound and especially enjoyable mids and treble extension. But it absolutely sucks that Oppo is not offering any discount for this guy at the moment. Same thing with last year's Enco Air 2 Pro, which is still a great pair of TWS for some 3500 rupees. But you know what, just like the Zabra Elite 3, the Elite 4s are also available at an insane deal right now. This thing launched for some 10,000 rupees in India a few months ago and is on sale for just 5,000 rupees at this time. It's similar to the Elite 3 in a lot of ways, but it brings active noise cancellation and a somewhat warmer bass too. Likewise, two of my favorite mid-range TWS, Sony's WFC500 and JBL's Tune 230NC are also selling for a little under 4,000 rupees in these uh, mega sale days, making them great value for money earbuds. And here the WFC500 is for those who want good sound and nothing else. Whereas the JBL Tune 230NC spices things up with its relatively more comfortable fit and ANC support. Okay, now let me talk about the best earbuds deals under 10,000 rupees and the Nothing Ear 2 is definitely one of the most attractive options out of everything else. It's currently selling for 7,000 rupees only down from the launch price of 10,000 rupees which makes it an excellent purchase. You can check out my review to find out more but basically what you need to know is that the Nothing Ear 2 impresses in all sorts of aspects you would expect from a pair of high-end earbuds. The same can be said for Oppo's Enco X2 as well. Uh, like all the Oppo earbuds I've discussed so far, this one does not enjoy the biggest price drop or anything, but uh, those who care about terrific audio, noise cancellation, microphones, etc. should look into it anyway. At 9,000 rupees, the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 is also a great buy. 
Yes, I'm talking about the regular Buds Pro 2 and not the 2R, which means you get to enjoy features like wireless charging and head tracking for a more immersive listening experience. I have talked about them in my more detailed video of the earbuds under 10,000 rupees, which you can check out from somewhere here. The Anger Soundcore Liberty 4 is yet another awesome pair of earbuds that's on sale right now. And if you want the largest set of features for the least money possible, this is probably your best bet. From high-res LDAC playback to personalized sound, 360-degree spatial audio, adaptive noise cancellation, and even heart rate tracking, the Liberty 4 is one heck of a deal for some 6,500 rupees. Whereas if you own a Samsung phone, you can't go wrong with the Galaxy Buds 2, which can be yours for some 6,200 rupees only. You can also check out the new Galaxy Buds FE actually. It's a little more expensive and not as feature rich as the Buds 2. But if you care about things like more secure fit and being able to locate your earbuds more precisely, then the Buds FE is worth checking out. On the other hand, for those looking for the absolute best that Samsung has to offer, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro is currently selling for 15,000 rupees. And even though it's more than a year old at this point, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro still ranks among the best sounding wireless earbuds at any price range. Okay, so now if you own an iPhone, the second gen AirPods Pro is kind of an easy pick for you considering everything it offers. Good sound, comfortable fit, excellent ANC and transparency mode, you kind of get everything here. While its updated USB-C version is also enjoying a flat 3000 rupees discount at the moment, but I think the one with a lightning connector is a better value since it's on sale at around 18,500 rupees only. But if you don't want your pair of premium earbuds to be locked into any ecosystem, then there are a few fantastic flagship options out there as well, starting with the newly launched Sony WF-1000XM5 from Sony. From its class-leading ANC to sound quality, microphones, comfortable fit, battery life, the XM5 delivers a terrific listening experience. Likewise, the Zabra Elite 10 that was recently launched in India also gives Sony a run for its money with its equally top-notch set of features. It does not have any high-res codec support, but the clarity and detail in Elite 10's audio quality is second to none anyway. And at 18,000 rupees, this is one of the most well-rounded set of wireless earbuds that you can get at the moment. During these festive offers, the Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 3 is also available at a pretty attractive price. It uh, was also a bit expensive at launch, but it definitely makes sense for some 17,000 rupees. These earbuds bring a solid audio quality with a frequency response that closely mimics the Harman curve while you're also getting excellent ANC and call quality here. But if you want nothing but the very best noise cancellation, then you're gonna have to go with the Bose QuietComfort earbuds too. You can grab it for around 19,000 rupees right now and besides the excellent ANC, it also impresses when it comes to sound quality and other stuff as well. So there you have it guys, these are all the best earbuds deals that you can get on the ongoing Amazon's Great Indian Festival and Flipkart's Big Billion Day sales. Let me know which one you are planning to get. Till then, I'm Pratima Adhikari and I will see you in my next video very soon.